you guys. So today I'm going to do a drawing that I am very excited about. I am going to be redesigning Ladybug, Ladybug's uh, costume in Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. So first I'm going to start by drawing Ladybug's regular costume before I draw the redraw. So uh, Miraculous Ladybug, if you don't know, is a show about a superhero. Her name is Marinette, and she becomes a superhero named Ladybug with a Ladybug-themed costume. So, with her partner, Cat Noir. I might make um, a redesign of Cat Noir's costume eventually as well. So, I'm going to redesign this to more resemble a Ladybug and to be more practical, I think, and one that would conceal her identity better, I think, in, like in my opinion. So, I guess until I start doing the redesign, I'm just going, going to just talk about the show. So, Ladybug is a superhero who, of course, becomes a superhero who looks like, who has a costume resembling a ladybug. And her partner, Cat Noir, is a cat superhero. And they fight villains that the main villain, Hawk Moth, uh, t uh, akumatizes, which means he takes control of them and turns them into villains. So... I'm gonna start the um, I'm gonna start the uh, the redraw now. So I've duplicated Ladybug uh, and put her right next to her. But right now I'm just trying to figure out the um, how I'm going to have them situated on the screen. And no, I haven't finished drawing Ladybug. I don't know why I thought that I was done. <laughs> Silly me. But what I really love about Miraculous Ladybug is just the characters. Adrian, who is Cat Noir, is my baby. Oh my goodness. Adrian's adorable. He's, oh, he's like, a, he's like a son. Um, and I, every time that there's a shit moment between him and Ladybug, or him and Marinette, who Ladybug is, my heart just melts because he has a crush on her, and sh and he doesn't know that she's Marinette, but Marinette has a crush on Adrian, but doesn't know that Adrian is Cat Noir. But Marinette isn't into Cat Noir, she's into Adrian, but he is Cat Noir, and he's into Ladybug, and I don't know if he's into Marinette, but he doesn't know that she is, that, that Marinette is freaking Ladybug, and it's really good. So, I did kind of copy the pose of the Ladybug art, but... It is in my own style, and you cannot own a pose. Like, it's very hard, because sometimes somebody might, like, accidentally do that pose. And you can't say, you copied the pose. So, what I'm doing here on Ladybug's costume is I'm drawing a pair of wings on the back of her, uh, on her, of her costume to kind of resemble a Ladybug's wings. Now, what I thought those could do is, I, is they could maybe be like a parachute or something. And instead of her yo-yo being on, like, kind of like a bag, I decided to put it on her like a belt. She can detach it from the belt, so it's just easier to, to carry around. And I thought I'd make, I'd, 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 I'd have the costume show a little more skin, because wearing a costume like that would be very, very, very hot, I think. Unless it's ventilated. And so I think that if it showed more skin, she wouldn't be as, like, hot and sweaty. But... I think it might also, like, give her, like, no, not more maneuverability. Either costume would be good for maneuverability, but I just, I do think that it looks very hot wearing a costume like that. Like, it covers you and it's like a turtleneck. So, right here I decided to go with uh, the regular red of her costume, but I ended up changing to the color for Kwame Tiki instead because I just felt that it, since Tiki, like, seems to go inside Ladybug when she turns into Ladybug, it would make more sense. I have a few, there's a theory that I found that they, like, fuse, kind of, and become one person. And also, I put little wings on her shoes, like, um, making it like she, like, Ladybug wings. And instead of boots, uh, I put, uh, I gave her knee-high socks. And I'm, I decided to change her hair because the pigtails are a little on the nose. Like, it's very obvious. So, with the hair down, it actually just makes her look older, which I think would 
conceal her identity a little bit better. I, did, I tried to go with, like, red on her hair for a little bit, but I decided it just, I don't think that transforming would color her hair. I just thought I should stick with the regular hair color. And right here, I'm just finishing up uh, the, the design a little bit and, of course, putting her Miraculouses there. And it should be finished up pretty soon, but I decided instead of having the, uh, the socks be pink, I should make the socks... Um, black uh, because first of all it makes them it look less like she's wearing boots and more like she has socks on and the gloves are black as well because I thought hey a ladybug its legs are black I do believe I think um, and that would be cool like oh black legs black legs like the gloves and of course when I painted the gloves black you can't see the thumbs very well so I thought hey Let's um, let's use a white line to dis to distinguish where the thumbs are on this design. And right here, I was I was trying to like mess around with maybe making like leather like shiny or making her hair shine. I decided not to. I don't know why I put the little lines in her hair. I guess it just gives it more texture. And here, instead of her bow on where her um, where her pigtails are, I decided to put a uh, a bow on the top of her head that actually looks like an antenna. I know ladybugs don't have antennas, but I didn't think of that when I was drawing this. And I think it looks cute. Like, she's a bug with an antenna. <laughs> but I had to mess around with the colors for a little bit. And here we are, my final design for Ladybug's redesign costume. I really hope you like this video, and I really hope you'll check out Miraculous Ladybug. Uh, I guess that's all for this speed speed drawing slash speed paint. So bye bye.